Right, we're back with part two of uh, the uh, B flat harmonica in the key of F. We're going to be exploring more root notes, but uh, we're actually going to be exploring the first basic harmony you can start putting with them. Okay, so if you go back to root notes part one, okay, or <clears throat> root notes, yeah, part one, if you go back and check that out, You'll remember we had the two draw as the one chord, the four blow as the four chord, and the four draw as the five chord. And then I showed you in a previous video called Advanced Bending how you could play a 12-bar uh, blues on one hole in the harmonica, and that hole was the three draw. Okay, so what we're going to be exploring today is um, how, that actu how those notes actually make up the root notes of the... Uh, 12 bar progression and you can put them together. Okay, when you're playing the one chord, you can use, as you know, the two draw. Okay, but you can also use the three draw natural. Okay. Now, when you get to the four chord, again, you can use the four blow as explored in the previous lesson. Or you can use a three draw bent, a half step. Okay. Then you return to the one chord, back to your two draw, or your three draw. And then you move to the five chord and you play the three draw bent a whole step. Well, a lot of people have asked me, how do I get that vibrato I just put on there? It's really, really an easy one. Anybody can do it. Grab a bend note and then just move your jaw up and down. Just say, yeah, 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 yeah. It's really easy. It's a little bit harder on the notes that aren't bent, actually. I don't really use that vibrato very much on those. I just use it as an effect, a trailing out type of thing. All right, but anyway, five chord, three draw bent a whole step. So now what you can begin to do is mix these two techniques together. Then you have two notes that relate. Okay, you have two notes that relate to the root chord. made that up. That's really the beauty of this stuff is it, it allows you to make your own music. You just grab the note, you get a basic feel, you get some riffs that you can throw in there, you know. A lot of you might know this riff. So you can start with... how easy this is coming together for me it really can come together just as easy for YouTube for YouTube anyway uh, yeah uh, that was from my two being princesses in the audience anyway uh, what I'm getting at is uh, as is the roots of improvisation pun intended all right are the root notes okay that's what you got there you got the two draw the three draw now when you get to a, something like a slow blues, a slow blues is a real tricky because you never know exactly how much to play or how little to play. At least that's where I run into it. So you gotta use your feeling. But if you're running out of licks, which you will happen to you on a slow blues, okay, eventually, if you try to play too much, you can always go back to this, okay? This three draw exercise that I showed you where I played the entire 12 bars, let me just review that real quick. Ready? One, a two, a one, two, three. One chord, one chord, four 
chord. One chord. Five. Four. Okay, that's just a little shuffle kind of beat. Okay, you know, that stuff is really effective on a slow blues, okay? This is a long time secret of mine for just how to blow a slow blues, you know? Now learn the octave of your, of your root notes too, and learn them in different position. Learn all the one four, five, one, four, five root notes in first position and third position. As a matter of fact, that's the first thing you should do before you even, even, even begin experimenting with riffs in those positions. It's just learn some uh, root notes, learn where the chords are uh, that you're going to be surrounded with most often in whatever kind of music you play. Find out where they are. But on a slow blues, back to that. In the three draw, you can use this note to create effect, to create a lot of feeling. Now one of the things you'll notice I'm doing is, even though I'm playing the three draw, I'm emphasizing the three draw, but I might come underneath it using the three draw bend. Additionally, when I want to play the three draw bend a half step, I might come underneath that playing the three draw bend a whole step. If I want to play the three draw bend a whole step, I might come underneath that. It creates this effect. See what I'm, see, that sounded cool, right? You know? Okay, that was kind of sloppy. Anyway, I'm going to do some of that on this here slow blues. Ready? One, two, one, two, three. Back to the three draw on the one. Five chord. Four chord. Okay, a little slow blues with the three hole as my main emphasis. It's the same thing I was showing you earlier with the shuffles. And when you get the slow blues, which is actually harder than a shuffle, you'll be able to really groove over these chord changes using the three draw. Da, 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 da. 